Welcome to the webbikeworld.com quick video tour of the Scorpion EXL 1000 motorcycle helmet. Visit webbikeworld.com for a detailed review of this helmet and many others. We had the world's first report on the EXL 1000 back in February of 2007 when we posted the information and photos live from the dealer Power Sports Expo in Indianapolis when the helmet was first announced by Scorpion. We've been waiting ever since to do a full review and this is probably one of the most anticipated motorcycle helmets in all of 2007. The EXO 1000 is loaded with features as we'll see in a minute and the quality of the paint, the hardware and the liner is outstanding. The helmet has four separate air vents in the front and an opening exhaust vent in the rear in addition to low pressure exhaust vents on the sides and in the rear. The vents snap open and closed with authority. They're probably some of the best fitted vents we've ever seen on a motorcycle helmet. However, even with all the vents, the helmet seems to have mediocre airflow, and the lack of airflow on top is especially puzzling. I'm not sure where all the air goes that comes in these top vents. The chin vent opens towards the front, and this design seems to block most of the air from coming in. The helmet is also noisier than we think it should be, with some wind rushing noise around the top and the rear and some lower frequency turbulence induced noise around the bottom of the helmet. The EXO 1000 also includes a rotating internal sunshade but like most of the other motorcycle helmets with this feature it doesn't rotate down far enough to remain out of the rider's line of sight. It's curved along the bottom rather than straight and the visor doesn't have a dark enough tint to prevent glare anyway. So far, the concept of an internally rotating sunshade has not been perfected. They add weight, they should be cut straight across, and they either need to rotate all the way down out of the line of sight, or just rotate down far enough to block the sun from above the rider's eyes. In fact, I'd rather see a very dark or opaque tinted shade that could be just pulled down manually about an inch or so, just enough to block the bright sun, especially when heading west in late afternoon. The clear visor on our EXO 1000 has only four notches and the first opening is too wide. It does have this lever on the left hand side that allows the visor to be cracked open a notch for ventilation but it's kind of fussy to use. We think the first detent on a motorcycle helmet visor should allow it to be open just a touch to let air in for venting. Okay so here's what all the fuss is about on the EXO 1000. The helmet has what Scorpion calls the helmet pump, which allows the rider to adjust the cheek pads to fit. This is an air pump that works by squeezing this bulb under the chin bar, which inflates the air bladders located under the liner in the cheeks. This button deflates the cheek pads. To be honest, I don't recall ever having a problem with cheek pads, but this is an interesting feature that may allow some riders to tailor the helmet to fit more precisely. With no air in the bladder, the helmet fits may be slightly looser than normal in the cheeks, like maybe it had the thinnest replaceable cheek pads installed to start. But they can be pumped up to fit very tightly, which might be useful in a race helmet, but this isn't an all-out race helmet. So we're not sure if the added weight and complexity is really worth it. The EXO 1000 in size XL shown here weighs in at 1,821 grams or just a hair over four pounds. Out of the 83 helmets we reviewed and weighed as of this review, with one being the lightest, this is number 78, so it's pretty hefty. I will admit that I really don't notice the weight as much as I expected because the helmet feels nicely balanced and it does feel more secure when the cheek pads are pumped up tight. So take away the internal sunshade and the helmet pump inflatable cheek pads and you're basically left with something resembling an EXO 700, which is about 7 ounces lighter and $120 cheaper. Check out our review of the Scorpion EXO 700 and also the EXO 400, which we think is one of the better deals out there for a quality helmet. For all 83 motorcycle helmet reviews and the complete detailed review and more close-up photos of this EXO 1000, please visit webbikeworld.com. That's the webbikeworld.com quick video tour of the Scorpion EXO 1000 motorcycle helmet. Thanks for watching.